Good morning. It's Friday. We are live at Ruth Stitchery, and today we're going to talk about Row by Row. Um, row by Row gets started here pretty soon. I'll tell you all the dates here in a second, but I thought if you are new to quilting, um, you may not know what Row by Row is, um, how long it's been around, and so I thought I would share a little history with how Row by Row got started, what it is, what it all entails. So, Row by Row got started in 2011 um, with um, uh, Janie Lance, I think, Janet L Lutz. She was a shop owner, or is a shop owner in New York, and she decided, uh, let's do sort of a uh, statewide, shop hop or um, similar to a shop hop and she called it row by row so there were about 20 stores in the state of New York that decided to participate and basically they called it row by row because every store would design a row for a quilt nine inches by 36 inches and um, you customers could go to each one of those stores that was the key you had to go to the store physically um, you get a free pattern for the row that it was created by that store and then you would collect those um, patterns and then you could create a quilt so I'm going to talk a little bit more about that as well um, so that's how it got started and um, it continued the next year and they had great gained more stores um, and then you know the following year they sort of branched out to I know Pennsylvania maybe some of the other um, states that border New York um, in just a few years it became a nationwide shop hop called row by row and there were stores in um, all 50 states, including Hawaii and Alaska, that were participating. And um, so then it be kind of became like this little traveler's collecting thing. You could go to the participating stores, um, you could get their um, pattern, you could buy a kit, um, and then you put a quilt together. And it's also sort of a contest or a challenge where you can put those rows together. So. Um, in 2020, um, I think before COVID hit, they had seen some um, decrease in participation with Row by Row. So they kind of attempted to revamp it. They called it Quilter's Trek. So they kind of changed the name. Um, they gave more options to stores on how to design um, their block or their row or whatever that you wanted to do. Um, we've now come full circle and after a couple of years of Quilters Trek, they've gone back kind of to the beginning. It's called Row by Row again and the, um, the thing that the stores design is a row, nine inches by 36 inches. Um, and so basically as a participating store, um, we are given a theme. So this year the theme is summertime. And as a participating store, you take the theme and you kind of make it whatever you want it to be. Um, I'm really excited about our row that is hanging up here. Um, one of the things I love the best is that it is truly a collaboration of our staff's ideas and thoughts and talents. And um, I threw the theme out to the group and said this is what the theme is if you have any ideas and I believe it was Janice Manuel who said what about something like quilts in the park it's the summer you know you, you um, wouldn't it be cool to see a bunch of quilts hanging in the parks during the summer that idea um, we sort of grabbed onto and thought well how could we make it Colorado um, and so then we changed it, <clears throat> excuse me, to Quilts in the Rockies because we wanted it to have the mountains. Um, and so our idea for our row kind of started and um, not realizing at the time, Michelle is an artist and <laughs> architect, I think, something like that. Um, and, I, and she said, well, if you want, 
I can go out and sketch the mountains. So there she was. She went out. Um, my only direction was I'd love to use two colors of fabric for the mountains so it shows a little dimension. And she came back in with basically a line drawing of our mountain range, which I was like, oh my gosh. Um, and look how cool it came out. I just love it. I love that really if you are from the springs or you've vi ever visited the springs you realize that really does look like our mountain range so i just absolutely love it so then we were like well how are we going to show quilts hanging and of course i get all elaborate oh we can do tiny little miniature quilts that you have to piece together and put on there and then i thought you know we have so many fabrics that look like quilts um, that will look like you spent a ton of time on it, um, and but you really didn't. And so I went out um, and we found lots of fabrics that had designs on it that really could mimic a quilt. Um, and so they are three-dimensional, um, and then we needed some sort of line that they were hanging from, so we just used rickrack. Um, we did have, this is actually, um, has batting in the middle, which is kind of cool, and they are um, dimensional hanging off. So um, we had gotten to this point, and then a few suggested that we really need words on there. Um, it was just looking a little bit plain, um, and so we added, um, and I just backstitched this, um, quilts in the Rockies across the top of our row. So this is our version of the summertime theme for this year's Row by Row. This will be our free pattern. Um, row by Row gets started June 1st and it runs through August 31st. So um, anytime between those dates, um, you um, can come into the store and pick up a free pattern. We will also have kits available um, for our row. You certainly can make it with your own fabric, but we will kit it just as we've made it. Um, and you can purchase the kit and you can purchase a kit on our website as well. You just can't get a free pattern on our website, but the kit will include um, the pattern. So you'll be able to buy a kit online. It'll include the pattern, but the free pattern is for someone who walks into the store. So that's what we do as a participating shop. Um, as a customer, you um, it's lots of fun to travel around, find different stores wherever you're traveling. It is why they do it in the summer, because a lot of people do travel in the summer. And you can find those participating shops on the Row by Row Experience website. You just go on the, that website, it's rowbyrowexperience.com and there's a shop finder. So if you know you're going to Tennessee and you want to find a store in Tennessee, you just click on the state of Tennessee and the participating shops will come up. Um, and then I think also slowly you'll start to see um, previews of everybody's row. Um, now that ours is finished, I'll get ours up there on their website, but you'll be able to see what the row is. So you will collect those. As a customer, if you want to participate in the challenge or contest per se, um, what you need to do is collect at least eight rows from different shops and create a quilt that includes those eight rows. Um, you do have to complete your quilt. It needs to be quilted and bound with a label on it and then you bring it back to a participating shop that is um, in row by row. It does not have to have that store's row in it, however, um, if you do have that store's row in your quilt, there is an additional prize. So there's a prize if you're the first person to bring the quilt back to a store. Um, and then it gets hung. We usually hang our winner for about a month after um, with a picture of them with the quilt. And you get a prize. And then um, if our row was in your quilt when you brought it to us, there'd be an additional prize for having our row in your quilt. Um, they also make it um, sort of a collectible thing. So it's not only the free pattern, um, but there are license plates that go along with row by row. Um, this is a license plate that Ruth Stitchery made a long time ago. We've done it in black and green, 
And I considered creating a different license plate this year, but I thought, I love the Are You Stitching? <laughs> I just think it's great. And couldn't come up with something that I thought was better. So um, we still have a lot of these, so you can collect these um, license plates. So other stores will have license plates that you can collect. Um, and there's actually a lot of patterns out there that um, show you how to utilize the fabric license plates in a quilt. A lot of people use them on the back and make a little label for the rows that they've put into their quilt. So um, lots of options there. So the other thing that happens with row by row every year, um, I'm not exactly sure if this was something that started right at the beginning or if it's something that as they got more states involved, um, they teamed up with Timeless Treasures and Timeless Treasures always creates a line of fabric that goes along with the theme. Um, so no matter what the theme is that year, Timeless Treasures comes up with a fabric line um, that goes with it. And the stores do not have to use the fabric from Timeless Treasures in their row. They can, but they don't have to. Um, but I will tell you, uh, if you look at this fabric line for this year's theme of summertime from Timeless Treasures, I think it's probably one of the best they've ever done. And um, I just absolutely love it. And so we did not use this fabric in our row. However, we did create a quilt using this fabric. So I wanted to show you that one of the fabrics is this panel of just all of these lovely summertime images. Um, there's beach, there's wine, there's camping there's bikes. I just think it's fantastic and I love sort of the watercolor art of it. Um, and then they had all of these coordinating fabrics that went with it. This blender is fantastic. It kind of looks like bubbles but they did it in lots of different colors and then some of the other coordinates have butterflies and flowers. Um, there's some bees I think on some of them. I just this one I believe has the beads on it. I just think they did such a great, great job on this fabric line that I wanted to make a quilt that utilized it. And so this is what I created. It's a very simple pattern from Villa Rosa, which if, you're, if you know what Villa Rosa is, they are the ones that make the little tiny cards that's just a front and back pattern. Um, and they're usually pretty simple. Um, don't take a ton of fabric and you can whip them up pretty quickly and so I chose one called Nantucket because it had 12 spots that were nine inch blocks which was perfect for this panel um, and so that's what gravitated me to the Nantucket um, pattern um, and so that's what we did with the fabric I just think it's so fun. I think it screams summertime and um, just love that Timeless Treasures created something so fantastic. Um, I think that's all I can tell you about row by row. Again, probably way more than you wanted to know, um, but I thought this might be very new to some people who've never heard of row by row or they've heard row by row or they've seen us advertising it, but they had no idea. Um, so starting June 1st through August 31st, you can come into our store, you can get this pattern free. We will also have kits available. The window of time to bring a completed quilt back to a store is um, July 1st through September 30th. So it starts kind of halfway into row by row and then ends a month after row by row is over. Once row by row ends, we will probably still have this pattern and the kits, um, they'll just be for sale. So if you don't come in that window of time, this pattern will still be available, but it won't be free anymore after August 31st. All right, thanks for listening. I hope you participate in row by row this year, and I hope you go to the website, the row by row experience, and you can learn more about this year's row by row.